That's why we have weight classes. That's why we should have the difference between females and males competing against each other, which is why I, I get, you know, this trans athlete thing fucking blows my mind how many people go along with this. It just blows Although my mind. Although didn't, didn't the ruling just come down on powerlifting, uh, sorry, on weightlifting, um, that, that you, you cannot compete in, um, you, like if a male transitions to a female, he can't compete as a female. Well, that if the transition occurred after puberty, yes, that certainly should be the case. It certainly should be the case. I think there is some ruling that just came down like that. But swimming, I mean, that Leah Thomas is still the number one swimmer in the world, and it's a biological male. Yeah. Period. End of discussion. It's madness. And not only that, hasn't even gotten a penis removed. It has sex with women apparently. It's just, just the whole thing is so crazy that you can call yourself a woman and then you're a woman. And like this has nothing to do with trans rights. It just has to do with humans. Like, with there's a reason why we make a distinction why men are not allowed to compete in the women's division. But if you could just decide you're a woman and you compete in the women's division, and no one's even allowed to regulate like what that means, and if you have any any problem with that, you're transphobic. Like, it has nothing to do with transphobic. Yeah. We're talking about fairness in sports. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy that this is still going on, and that you know. Here goes a similar ruling in uh, swimming also. Uh -huh. They vote to restrict transgender women from yeah. elite swimming. What is the F-I-N-A? FINA is the ruling body of swimming. Mm, okay, so is so they voted just Sunday. But that says oh, uh, June 19, yeah, 2022. Yeah, I was looking at Leah Thomas's wiki. But that's, the problem is that she's doing it through... Uh, NC2. Yeah, it's a different thing. What I, is it? She, yeah, NC2A. She wanted to go Although to the Although didn't she graduate? Yeah, she's done with that, so she wanted to go to Olympics. Yeah, this is gonna... it was basically saying she can't compete Correct. as an Olympic. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, it's just what they've done to those other girls that are competing against her is just a fucking crime it's horrible imagine if you're a biological woman you are working your ass off you are fully dedicated to being the best of the best you're dotting all your eyes and crossing all your t's you are watching your diet you're watching your recovery you are fucking trying and this person who just decides they're a woman with testosterone flowing through their body for their entire life just dominates you yeah. It's fucking maddening and it's fucking maddening that we have gotten into this ideological battle this 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 cultural end-of-the-road Ideological battle, but we're allowing that and where people will step up and virtue signal and defend this that it like is as, as if it has anything to do with being compassionate and considerate and and trans rights or LBGTQ plus AI whatever the fuck it is rights. It's nonsense It's we are a, a society that needs a real problem and we are fixating on these fucking very strange issues and deciding that we're going to correct all the inequities and inequality in the world by allowing these people to express their truth. And you're encouraging mental illness. You're encouraging virtue signaling. You're encouraging mass ideology, this ideological capture of an entire culture where people know things aren't true. You know it's not right. You know it's not accurate. You know it's not scientifically true. And yet people have to espouse these certain, th certain things. Because if they don't, they'll be labeled transphobic. I mean, it's so fucking wild. And I never thought it was going to happen. I, like I think the, the worst example is when male prisoners can somehow weasel their way into women's prisons. There's a shit ton of them in California. Yeah, no, that's... California, like, there's more than 40 of them that have made their way into prisons. And there's hundreds of them that are under review right now. It's crazy. Get, they go to prison and get women pregnant. So that not only are they saying that they're females, but they don't have to do anything other than say they're females. They don't have to take estrogen. They don't have to get their balls cut off. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do anything. Just, I'm a female. Oh, well, we don't want to fuck with you. We, we definitely want you to go to the place where you're, you're, you're allowed to live your truth, Peter. I mean, P Patricia, get in there. Get in there and start fucking. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. And one of them was a, a guy who is a fucking murderer. You know, the thing about um, these uh, these people that identify as females, like well, they, they did this um, study on inmates that identify as female and want to be moved over to uh, female prisons. There was a large number of them that were sex offenders. Yeah, that's It's insane. wild. So sex offenders, and I mean, how many of them have fucking fake names? How many of them are in prison for fraud? How many of them have a fake Rolex? And meanwhile, they're a real woman. Can't question that. No. Criminal aliases, that's besides, gender is everything. Gender, <laughs> gender, gender. It's just like the fucking trump card of the world is gender. It's just like, what is happening? What is going on? It's, it's such a weird time. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting time to be raising kids, too. And you yeah. see what they come home kind of hearing. I mean, I, I feel pretty fortunate where we are that 
Yeah, it's a little different in Texas, yeah. but not totally different. You know, uh, my daughter was going to school with this one girl who would get angry if you did not call her they or them. And uh, she wore makeup and, you know, she looked like a girl. But if you said her, it's like, okay, you're playing games here. Like, this is a game. Yeah, it's like, and even if a person says, look, I'm going to do my best to remember this right. if it really makes you feel better. But you can't override, like, your entire lifetime of regular pronouns and remember that you're a they, not a she. Also, it's... you're a biological female and you're wearing makeup and a dress. So yeah. this is all nonsense. Yeah. So we're playing a stupid pronoun game. You know, who would have ever thought? If I came to you 20 years ago and, dude, in 20 years, pronouns going to be a real issue. You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That doesn't even make any sense. I, I, <laughs> I can safely say I would say, I'm going to take the under on that one. <laughs> pronouns? <laughs> That's going to be the problem? I remember when Fallon Fox first started fighting women in MMA. And then it turned out that for the first two fights, she was saying that uh, she was a biological. Well, she wasn't telling them that she was biologically male. She just said that that wasn't important. That you, you, you or you shouldn't have access to her medical information. This is a, a medical mm. issue. There's no no one's business but hers. And I was like, that is just straight bullshit. Like that is so crazy. And the pushback I got on that, I was like, whoa, what is going on? And this was like 2015, 2016, something like that. I never would have imagined we would get to the point where this is like a, a public issue throughout the entire world and that you're dealing with uh, trans athletes wanting to compete in and then dominating female sports breaking records i mean someone someone quoted the like there was there's these two uh trans athletes that were competing as females in connecticut and they were saying that if you looked at their times like that they their the, their times like if you take like an elite female runner like um was that woman's name? Jackie Joyner. Jackie Joyner Kersey? Yes. Yeah. It was like one of the elite of the elite female runners. Yeah. High school boys beat her time all the time. That is wild. Yeah. That is fucking wild. So imagine if you're a girl. And you're the same is true in soccer, field. right? Like yeah. a, a good high school soccer team would crush the women's, the U.S. women's yeah. team. Have you seen that Australian uh, biological male who competes in rugby? No. 240 pounds. Just a giant dude. With Competing a, with women? Yeah, giant dude with lipstick on just running women over. It's happening all over the world, and it's. it's I'm just. I mean, at some point there has Ill. to be a lawsuit when one of these women yeah. gets hurt. Well, there should be lawsuits that they're getting denied their ability to compete in a fair field, that they're on a level playing field. It's not fair. It's not fair. And they, and people make this stupid argument like, oh well, you know, there are differences in the spectrum of athletic ability in females. Yeah, there is. But the difference between this, the highest end of the spectrum of athletic ability in females and the lowest end of the spectrum of professional athletes in males is fucking enormous. It's a fucking a, a Grand Canyon size <laughs> gap. It's like these dorks that have never competed in anything before. Those are the ones that are proponents of this because they think of it as like social justice and social change. And like you don't even know what the fuck you're asking for. You're, you're literally asking for people to cheat.